Have you seen these yet? These rod covers? They're amazing. I won't travel in my truck anymore without them. Busby makes them and they keep my rods from getting tangled. But Flats Glass YouTube, that is not what the tip is today. Today, I'm gonna take you back out there at the boat barn and I'm gonna show you a foolproof way to catch speckled trout. It's, it's an old technique. I got a little twist on it. You'll see. Flats Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. All right, how are we going to take an old method and make it better with a twist? I'm not going to make pop and cork fishing seem super technical, but I am going to give you a couple of tips that's going to make it a lot more effective. Now, we all know whether you live in Texas, the upper Gulf Coast, here in Florida, or all the way up the Atlantic seaboard, pop and cork fishing, it's effective, especially for redfish, flounder, and speckled trout, which is the target here. What I've done, uh, and I've done this because I fish with a lot of my colleagues, and I've taken some of their ideas and my ideas and kind of put it together, is if you take, uh, this is a popping cork that I use a lot out there in Louisiana. You take one of these popping corks, heavy one. Now this is the Four Horsemen, so it's it's pretty heavy and it's a loud clacker. You're not ha having to punch this like you do for bull redfish. It's just pop, pop. Normally, I'm just employing this just because I can cast it farther. So you're going to be able to make 150 foot casts with this this big cork. Then I've got a stretch of, and it depends on water depth, naturally, but anywhere from 24 inches to 30 inches of very light monofilament leader. I like monofilament leader because it falls slower. It's not as dense as fluorocarbon, so it goes down in the water column slowly, slows the descent rate of this bait. The other thing that slows it down, not only is the buoyancy of the bait like we talked about, but this is a very light wire finesse shrooms head. Now these finesse shrooms heads weigh one fifteenth of an ounce, one tenth of an ounce, and then they get a little bit heavier. But I typically load my Busby box up with one fifteenth and one tenth so I can get that super slow fall. We're moving into the fall right now, so we're fishing a lot of creek mouths and we're fishing the flats out in front of them. And there's opportunities for the three big fish that I told you, the flounder, the red, and the speckled trout. If you utilize that pop, pop, and get that bait up high, and then it will kind of glide down slow, you are going to catch them on this bait because you've got time. You've got a thinner wire hook, so you're going to have the opportunity not to put a big hole in their face, so you're going to be able to hang on to them. Now, let's just say you're trying to throw it over some oyster if you're in Texas, or even here, really, around Cedar Key and whatnot. Um, or you're throwing it over lime rock or that big, long kelp grass that grows up. There's a few ways around that as well. If you think about some rigging techniques that are more weedless, you can connect them to that same rig instead of using the open jig head. You can use the finesse shrimps with the weedless. It's, it's got a weed guard in front of it, and you can use this shrimp. Works extremely well. I have a lot of success with this. The weed guard just folds out of the way when you make the big hook set and you're on. The other way is you can take these Finesse Texas eyes, um, which they make them in really lightweights, like one, I think it's one twelfth of an ounce, and you can work these same baits. Now, I like to use the Z-Man Easy Shrimps uh, a lot, but these trout tricks, well, <laughs> the name itself implies that they're out to trick a trout. <laughs> they work. They simply work. They work well. So... If this is something that you think might work good in your area, I encourage you, try it. 
just go try it. Try the light mono leader. Try the heavier cork. Try the lighter jig head. And try Z-Man. I can't believe you haven't tried Z-Man yet. Go try Z-Man because it falls so much slower. These hooks are easy to rig on these Z-Man baits. And they're going to allow you to catch much more fish. Now I'll be right back in a minute. Got to go get something here. It was nothing. Nothing. It was an Amazon box from my UPS driver. And he wanted to tell me a political joke. Two things I didn't want to hear. You had an Amazon box. That means it's not for me. It's for my wife. And a political joke. Yeah, we all know what those are about right now. Anyhow, back to fishing. If you're learning stuff uh, that's helping you catch more fish, give me that thumbs up. Push that subscribe button. I want <laughs> to make you a much better inshore angler. Also... If you want to get some of the products that you see us here promoting, if you can't get them at CaptainCRichardson.com or you want some of this Busby stuff or some of these Four Horsemen corks, go to SodiumUSA.com. If you go there, you're going to find that for inshore saltwater anglers, they have an awful lot of stuff. So if it's not at your local retailer, you can get it there. All right, till next time, got to load the boat up. I'm going trout fishing tomorrow. I'm going to get them too with this.